enter the rest of God through diligent faith. Hebrews 4 verse 11 Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest, lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. The example here is that of the children of Israel who left Egypt, who traveled through the wilderness, but never really stepped into the promised land. What kept them from the promised land was their unbelief and their disobedience. And we are being told that we need to maintain diligent faith to enter the rest. So when we are journeying with God for the fulfillment of His promises, for the victory that uh, you know God wants to bring into our lives, uh, we must maintain a place of faith. Now that is diligent faith. Diligent faith is when our faith is not uh, up and down, but our faith is consistent. And to be in such a state, you know, we require a consistent walk with the Lord. And by that, I mean a time in the word, because we know that faith is produced through the word of God. Faith is uh, maintained in a place of worship. Faith is maintained and nurtured uh, when we have a relationship with God and, and that is prayer. So keeping that faith walk consistent uh, and not giving any place to unbelief, not giving any place to disobedience uh, in our lives will enable us to enter the rest. And God is calling us uh, to that place where we are established in the rest of God at all times, no matter how the graph of our life looks uh, at various times, our faith graph can, can uh, be consistent and in fact it could be soaring because we are nurturing a strong relationship with God. And so diligent faith, you know, it's an active Faith. It's not a passive faith, but we have to work on it. And when, when I say work on it, uh, I am referring to our faith in the finished work of the cross. You know, Jesus has done it all. God is not asking us for our works to earn salvation, but he's asking us to work as in have faith, have strong faith in the finished work of the cross. And that is diligent faith. Maintain diligent faith, nurture diligent faith, never let uh, you know the tank leak and keep it consistent. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you God that we have, uh, Lord, this opportunity to grow our faith through your word. And I pray God that uh, every one of us, Lord, will make that effort. And God, uh, grant us the grace, oh God, to, to keep getting stronger in you, Father God. And Lord, even as we do that, we thank you, God, for that consistent faith in our lives, uh, Lord, which moves mountains. And God, we thank you for every victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.